Did you break any rules whilst in the villa? Yes, I did actually. I got in trouble <laughs> for it. He kept oiling himself up for the photos. <laughs> they did me dirty on after <laughs> really I did. can't believe it. Hi, I'm Casey. Hi, I'm Rosie. And we're, we're playing, playing Text on, on the Beach, beach with Cosmo, Cosmo UK. UK. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I've got a text. How would you describe your Love Island experience? Unbelievable, wouldn't change or regret anything that's happened in there. I would describe my Love Island experience as amazing. I literally had the best time of my life. I went in with like not really any expectations and yeah, came out and very happy. Do you have any regrets from your time on the show? I don't like to say I have regrets, so no, but I do think I wish I was like more myself. I think going in there, it can, like late, it can be intimidating and I think, yeah, I wish I just went for it a bit more. Is there a Three Musketeers chat? There is, actually. <laughs> there is. Um, it's already been made and I've already got Tom's number from Tom's sister, so he's already been added to the group chat, even though he doesn't know I've, I've got his number already and me and Will are talking on it non-stop already. Did you break any rules whilst in the villa? Yes, I did actually. So we're only allowed, um, factor 50 because the UV is very strong there so we were constantly topping ourselves up but I thought it would be a good idea to fill up the sun cream bottle with sunflower oil and I, I got I got in trouble <laughs> for it. He kept oiling himself up for the photos. <laughs> Did you have any go-to snacks in the villa? Oh the chocolate muffins. Yeah chocolate full stop. Um, they kept they had this tub of chocolate in the fridge and Unreal. within seconds it was gone. Like, <laughs> like literally everyone went into it straight was away. like the chocolate. <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> she loved the chocolate. Everyone was like rushing to the <laughs> fridge to see if the box was had any chocolate in and most of the time it was completely empty so that we were there just like guys can we can we have <laughs> can it, we refill? it Have you seen any rumours about yourself that you'd like to set straight I did not date Lana's ex. I don't know where that has come from, um, but yeah, no, I've not dated him. I think there was an article recently about um, me and Will got into an argument on After Sun, so we we couldn't watch the final. That, that's <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I, I saw that. That's 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 not true. <laughs> Our flights were booked um, on that Monday, way before After Sun, so. Um, we were always planning on, on flying home before the final. What's your relationship with Will and Jesse after your After Sun appearance? Yeah, it's fine. I think it got blown out of proportion massively. and Definitely. They did me dirty on After Sun. <laughs> they really I can't did. believe it. Um, they showed literally five seconds of each clip to throw me under the, the bus a bit with, with the two of them. But we spoke about it and there was definitely some conversations that happened around that time which I told Will pretty straight up that I did think Jesse was acting and he was one of the first ones which which I told that so it was nothing he didn't already know but I think it was quite difficult seeing me talk about Jesse to maybe Maxwell and, and some of the others so I think he was a bit shocked because he hadn't seen it but he was aware of what I thought of Jesse after the conversation that we had but it's all been squashed now we're fine. Casey you had a lot of pies thrown in your face were you expecting to get that many? And what do they feel like? <laughs> yeah, I got pied a lot of times. Um, I feel like the girls got together and thought it'd be a good idea to all pie me, but look, it was just a game. It really wasn't that deep. I'm pretty thick skinned, so look, it was, it was fine. And um, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been pied that many times in my life let alone in, in, in about 30 minutes. Claudia was last, she started filling up this pie so big and I knew because she didn't snog me, she didn't marry me, so I knew I was gonna get this pie right in my face after everyone else pieing me, so I just had to stand there and, and take it. Did you tell the producers your secret talent before going on the show? <laughs> You're constantly chatting to people and I had a conversation with Lana, I think it was literally in my first week of being there where I said, yeah, I played the trumpet at um, at school when I was in like year three, year four. And then I got asked, oh, is it true you played the trumpet? We heard one of your conversations. And this was like the day before the talent show. And I was like, yeah, I, I did. But I mean, I haven't picked it up in about 16, 17 years. They were like, all right, well, you, you wouldn't have lost it. Give it a go. And I was like, okay, yeah, let, let's give it a go. So I had a little bit of time to practice, but 
yeah, that that's how I ended up playing the trumpet. Mine's actually the piano, so we're a very musical couple. <laughs> no, I'm not that good. Um, but they didn't have a piano, so it was it was karaoke. Could have been a milli 2.0. I do think I am a little bit better than she is on the piano. <laughs> How did it feel to see Tom cry when you left the villa? I shed a tear, actually. I was watching um, at home and it was so lovely to see him say all those kind words about, about me. Like, I knew we were super close in the villa and to be honest, I would have been crying if, if he would have left. Like, I couldn't have done that experience without those two boys. Like, we were just so similar and like, we just bounced off each other. Like it would have been super super difficult with, without those two boys in, in the villa so yeah it was it was really really sweet seeing seeing tom cry and i felt exactly the same which couple do you think will get married first i think kai and sanam i'm not i'm not saying it because they've won but i do think yeah they, i, they I feel couple. like they were already in there a very settled married couple like yeah. they didn't want to get involved in the drama they kept themselves to themselves yeah. like it, it was weird coming out because I thought that the public weren't going to like Kai and Sanam that much just because they kept themselves to themselves. And like, I thought the public would perceive them as quite boring, not getting involved in the drama. But like the fact I've come out and like everyone loves them is, is so nice to see. It. Do you think there will be any drama at the reunion? Yes, 100%. Yes. <laughs> I think so. It's been interesting to see since coming out. Um, some of the cast a lot have had a lot to say so putting everyone in a room at the same time and i know i came in and i didn't get to meet some but I'm, i met most of the people in there and it'll be interesting i feel like there's a lot that people want to stay still uh, say to get off their chest so for sure there, there's going to be drama and um yeah it'll, it'll be interesting the voting figures for the final show tanya and shack only got two percent of the votes why do you think that was? It's pretty obvious why they would have got 2% of the votes in, in terms of the viewer and it was the whole Casa situation. Yeah. Tanya's gone ahead and they've said to each other, I love you, before Casa. She's then took a boy back from Casa. So everyone's like, how can you say I love you when you've you've taken another boy back to from Casa? So I think that's the reason and I think people haven't forgot about that. Um, Casa recoupling, um, so I, I think it will be to do with that. What's next for you as a couple? I don't know what's next for us, to be honest. I think obviously we've come out and we're a very new couple and we were obviously with people that had been together for like a long time, kind of from the start really. So I think it's, it's kind of like starting the journey off just on the outside world, doing like normal things like you would if you were dating someone on the outside. We're saying Sunday roast, we'll do that. We will do a Sunday roast. Um, maybe this Sunday. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.